Well, hello monkeys. Welcome back. Today on Grumpy's, we're gonna do an ASMR unboxing. No, we're not. No, we're gonna be uh, taking a look at a new brand. Uh, let me give you a quick. This is the sum total of the packaging. It's a budget brand, so hopefully you're not expecting too much. It has actually a decent little box. Uh, pull out two part. There's nothing else in it. Here is information. AB048 is the model number. And as soon as I tell you the model name, you will understand why I bought it. So, if the warranty information is important to you, go ahead and pause that. Otherwise, let's get into it. This is the ABKT Grunt. <laughs> In fact, if you go to buy it online, it says Grunt right here, which is part of the reason I bought it. Uh, Obviously, there's something changed. Oh, yeah. It's this big, ugly billboarding of their, what I'm going to guess is a new logo. Other side, go ahead and show you the billboarding there. ABKT, AB048, model number, and PRC, because this is, in fact, made in China. People's Republic of China. You can see the divot where the detent sets right there. We'll get into a little bit of that here in a second. Um, unboxed this on a live the other day with a couple other things um, and just wanted to do a quick review, a short-term review, first impressions type thing and give you guys an idea of what is up with this thing. Now, as is usual with specs, Specs online for this thing are all over the place. Nobody cares. It's a, oh yeah, let's give you that one important detail. This is a sub $30 knife. It goes for anywhere from $22 currently at Blade HQ up to around $30. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, I mean, we'll get into some of the details about it, but as soon as I opened it up, What's, yeah, just, you saw me drop that shot, I mean shake shot, right? Push button, yup. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, light switch, yup. Doesn't matter. Um, HCR 13 MOV steel, so I know, you know, everybody's favorite super steel in this one. It only comes in black G10. But look at that G10, man. This is contoured G10. Smooth. Feels good in hand. That contouring makes it feel a whole lot better than most $50 plus knives that are in this size frame. I, Like I said, as soon as I took it out of the package and flipped it open, I was like, oh, shake shut. Oh, drop shed almost. Sure. So, overnight, right? I mean, I've probably flipped it a couple hundred times. But, let's get into this because... Okay, so we're... About a little over two and a half. Let's call it two and... 2.6 on the blade length. Um, yeah, a little over two and a half. Let's call it two and a half. I tell you what, we'll call it two and a half on the blade length, and about two point four on the cutting edge. Um, what does it weigh? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's zoom you in. 75.3 grams now. Two point six six ounces. There we go. So 
2.66 ounces, two and a half inch blade, 2.4 inch or so cutting edge, HCR MOV, black G10, single direction only, single location only actually, uh, pocket clip, stainless steel pocket clip, stainless steel liners, flow through design, you can see a little bit of milling in there, um, no backspace or anything, just some barrel spacers. Runs on bearings. I don't know what else you want to know, but that's what I got for you kids. Do a few quick comparisons with this guy. And I'll throw you up a cheat sheet. Like I said, if I haven't told you already, I usually do. I'll find some stats and try and verify them. So, why am I taking this one out first? I don't know, but... Here it is with the Rough Rider Copper Swirl Canoe. Copper Swirl is ever so slightly longer. How about something that's actually in the same class? Would fill the same slot as the little native. This one does as well. Now, you say, how is that even a comparison? That's a good question. <laughs> um, here is the Ace Riv, the Giant Mouse Ace Riv. So you can see, I mean, they're strikingly similar just because of clips. And this one actually doesn't have its wire clip on right now. Um, just because of the wire clips on these, they may carry a little better. This one hasn't spent a whole lot of time in pocket yet, but it doesn't go in and out of the pocket quite as easy as the other two. And you know what? Um, in order to save $170, I think I'd live with that if this was my budget and these were not. That's right. This, again, $30 knife, less than $30 knife. $200 knives so it all depends on what you want if you want super steel and high-end materials you pay for them this should not be news to anyone right if you want titanium high-end micarta and LMAX steel you pay for it if you're okay with G10 HCR 13 and you don't care about the name of the person who designed it this may be right up your alley and if this is your price point you can you I don't know that you could do any better there may be other options just as well but if that sheep's foot blade profile is something that speaks to you the way it does me come on man Thirty dollars. Go to Blade HQ. The next next time you you're buying something and you don't have quite enough to get to that ninety nine dollar free shipping, throw one of these in. It's the I, I'm telling you, it's a great way to spend twenty dollars in my opinion so far. Anyway, um, we'll be back in a couple months with a longer term review on this, and I'll tell you everything that I want to know. A couple things I want to do to it. I want to sharpen it right off the bat. It's sharp. But something about this is just screaming to be sharpened. So I'm going to make it screaming sharp. Uh, think about doing a couple of things. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when the long-term review comes. How about that? So hopefully I'll see you then. And until I see you again, this is Grumpy. Stay well. Be kind. Do good. I'm out.